tip for today don't use impact tools on very delicate parts all right welcome back just a no heating call Apparently the fan so the fan wasn't coming on so try running the blower motor and the blower motor is not running Check and see if we got any fault codes or anything. We don't see anything here. The juicer was just running a second ago. Fan's not running on arm loads, so at this point it's gotta be. It could be the board. Maybe the board. Capacitor. Board capacitor or blower fan. <coughs> Let's see here. Okay. Let's see what we're getting here. Flashes. I don't see any faults. Just showing a okay status. Nothing. That's that board. I should make all the shoes. Volts there. G, 28 volts there. So it's calling the fan. Let's check our voltage. Another bad board scenario is what I'm thinking. checking between all three of these speed taps and neutral because if it's calling for a fan it should be getting something on it's usually the heat tap there for fan um well that's an m1 so that's just a part for that blue so i should be getting 120 at r i'm not getting anything at this point i'm thinking the board is the issue and cut the power off here i can demonstrate to you now we know it's not the blower. Quickly check. Non contact here. Nothing. Okay. What I'll do. Put a screwdriver here. No, sorry about that. Oh, 
able to get one of these speed taps here. And I'll simply just jump it to a hot wire. Make sure you're not doing it to your low voltage. Make sure you're doing it from the power the line in, which is black and white. That would definitely be stupid. The black here. And we'll go ahead and uh, jump that to there. That should give us a blower. So yeah, your board is shot. Uh, see if I can at least get the fire up the furnace. Probably completely shot it. Go ahead and get them some heat for now, just simply by um, uh, jumping. I'm gonna take this red, and I'm gonna go directly to our line in from from a high voltage. So we got line in here, L1. Watch this. here like such Take the L1 jump it with the R which is low and you want to drop it on that like the hot surface igniter shot as well. Let's check and see resistance across it. We 
think that's going to cut it. Twenty-four mega ohms. Yeah, definitely don't think that's going to cut it. Yeah, you can pretty much see it. Look. surfacing there. So you can see the little fracture there. It's pretty much through and through on it too. So yeah, probably overheated trying to cycle so many times to do that board. So yeah we got the parts we need here. The control board along with my flame sensor from it hot surfacing there, sorry. I'm going to start off with the hot surface igniter. Get this knocked out first and foremost. Okay. So you got that plate there. The screw goes through here. This threads in right on the back plate here. get another one of those. Alright. Same board. That's very stressful when I crack that hot surface igniter like that. Back to the universal style. That should be good. Let's see here. We're doing. Hmm, I'm guessing it's going to be this one, base two. So 
going to move one and three. The base two, see here. Looking at it from the top end, that's what I've got. A little tab here. That's one and three. So this is tab three here. On this point. And tab one. Make sure this is going to be. Yeah, it's it. This is it. Tab one. We'll just go ahead and pop that off like such. Then we can take our mount. Boink. Perfect. good looking very good not taking any chances and you know this I'm gonna go ahead and use my manual like such here looking good let's go ahead and put this through here now and our, there we go high voltage Okay, fire her up. There you go. Nice. There's a hot surface igniter. Looking good. Cast out. Here we go. Plane. Beautiful. Throw a fancy kick on here shortly. So our sequence of operation is called from the thermostat. After that call, the inducer node will spin up, as you saw. That'll pull on our pressure switch here. After the pressure switch is pulled in, it's going to call for one of the relay to switch on the hot surface igniter. It's that song for a certain amount of seconds. We'll open up the gas valve. Once the gas valve flame is initiated, and uh, that flame has to sense with the flame sensor. Once that senses, then the flame will turn on and we're good to go. So, all right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this one. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, you learned something. Um, We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.